Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. It is just gonna be a chill, chatty, get ready with me. I'm gonna be using the makeup that I picked up recently from my last Sephora haul that I posted. So I have the Fenty Ease Drop, the Dior Powder No Powder, the new uh, Contour Bronzer Duo from Patrick Ta, the Bronzer from Bare Minerals, and also the new eyeshadow palette from Rare Beauty. So I kind of was expecting this to be just like a trying new makeup and not a very chatty video. And then of course, something about sitting down and starting to put makeup on, it just feels like I'm sitting down with friends even though I'm in a room by myself. But it just feels like I'm sitting down with friends. So of course I just started chatting away. I do talk a little bit about the trip that I recently took uh, since I have moved. Talk a little, a little scary experience that I had <laughs> thrown in there. So. Yeah, we're just gonna chat about a few things while I get ready using these new Sephora products. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, okay. Let's get started. I'm actually gonna start with the eyes. I did use a little bit of my concealer that I'll be using later to prime them because I'm not really sure where any of my eye primers are. Have not found the eye primers yet, so. That's okay. Um, and I just applied my sunscreen, um, so I'm gonna let that sink in for a little bit before I immediately go in with my primer and complexion products. But I am gonna be using the eyeshadow palette from Rare Beauty. This is their True To Myself eyeshadow palette. And I kinda, when I first use an eyeshadow palette, I kinda like to do like my go-to look. So I think I'm just gonna work with some of the, the mobs in here which I think are really pretty. So that is kind of my goal. I think I should have enough brushes. I feel like I found enough brushes to be able to do a look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump in. Uh, I'm first, let's see, I'm first gonna take this more purpley tone and a BK Beauty 202 brush. And I'm just gonna start to sweep that into my crease. Uh, so if you haven't seen, um, I've talked about it in a few of my videos now, but I have moved recently and um, <laughs> it's it's so funny because I've been filming in natural light because my lights did not make it in the move. They all broke and I had to order new ones and I'm still trying to set them up. I'm pretty sure I need to go buy like a tool, like a screwdriver or something. <laughs> Uh, it's so funny because you know so many people are saying like I love natural light and I wish youtubers like Didn't use lights, but the hard part with natural light is like if you have it And it looks good and it stays consistent amazing if you don't Not so good today is not a sunny day um, There is no sunshine and I'm like Okay, so I feel like the lighting is not going to be great here, but it's because it's barely light outside. So that's the hard part with natural lighting. And if you only rely on natural lighting, it's just, it's not practical. Um, especially if you need to film, um, like I remember when I first started YouTube and I was in Iowa and you know, during the winter, we never see sun. <laughs> and I would rely, I would, I would start to wish that it would snow because I would rely on the whiteness of the snow to be able to light my videos. Um, so yeah, so that's the hard part with natural light. Or if you're filming and like the sun's going in and out and the light's going in and out, I have so many videos where it's like, I look really yellow here, then I look darker here, then I look lighter here, then like it just, because it's moving so much. So natural light is not easy to work with. Freaking out because I actually wanted to film two videos today, or no, I actually wanted to film three videos today. And now I'm like, well, I don't know what to do because I still can't figure out my lighting situation. So, you know. Um, and I feel like I've been echoey in this room. Um, some people did say to put like blankets over or like towels over the door to help. I feel like it helped a little bit. I feel like I'm not as echoey, um, but I still feel like a little bit is there. So still want to get that fixed. Um, but you know people also said to like hang things on the walls, which I will do, but I need to go buy a hammer so, I don't have a hammer so um, I need to do that. You know what actually what's really funny I was walking Aries the other day In a park and at one point I looked down and there was a hammer on the ground and I was like, that's odd I should have just taken the hammer. I'm just kidding, but I, I, I need a hammer um, I think actually I'm just gonna use the same brush and then I'm gonna come in with this darker shade 
and yeah i'm just gonna use that same one and i'm just gonna kind of blend these tones together i feel bad because i feel like my videos like aren't great quality even though I, I mean i know i know people are saying that they actually really like the lighting and all of the things um but it's just i, I just feel like maybe it's because it's just different for me i feel a little frustrated with myself that like i can't get my lights set up and you know just the little things of like being on your own and you know something not coming to you naturally or coming to you right away it's like it's like frustrating you know and you're like i want to figure this out and i will you know that's the thing is that i will it's just i can't get it right away <laughs> so it kind of frustrates me a little bit um but yeah we'll get it so i feel like my videos like aren't the best quality right now which is really bothering me but I also, I feel like I can film, I, I am able to film, I want to film because it brings me joy um, and it gives me something to focus on, like, instead of just, you know, sitting around feeling sad or bad for myself, I'm just going to take a clean uh, 201 and just kind of blend everything together. Um, so yeah, instead of just like moping around it's like i want to work i enjoy working when i feel like it's just not quite right it's um it's a little bit frustrating to me so i've been really lucky with the weather up until the day it's today is monday and i was like okay today is my official like return back to work like, gotta come back like made my to-do list today got my planner out did all the things um oh i also just got back from the gym so if i look sweaty it's because i am um, my hair tie around my wrist sweaty hate to like keep saying like just bear with me a little bit more because now i'm kind of like oh my gosh can i actually do this and get this done but you know i can i can it might just take me a little bit but i'm gonna get there kind of deciding between this light pink and this one right here oh sirens can you hear that that's something you never heard in iowa <laughs> i'm gonna use the darker pink at least for right now I don't know that looks really pretty i mean obviously the the glitter in the center looks really beautiful too but like i don't know it's not the vibe i'm going for today i'm using a sigma e20 for this i'm just going to tap that all over the lid okay i feel like i just was really bothered so i took out i have a tiny ring light that holds my phone for like when i do like instagram videos it's just a small one but i've tried to like wrangle it as best i could because i just <sighs> Oh y'all i don't know i'm trying so i'm just putting this all over the lid this is a little bit more the word that popped in my head was iridescent maybe i don't think that's the word i'm looking for um it's different than i thought it was going to be though but it's pretty it's pretty so i'm just sweeping that all over the lid i don't think by the time this video goes up if i can get it up on time um i don't think i will have announced my location yet and i have a few like so I put out an Instagram post sharing that. So I put out an Instagram post and um, like on any of my other socials, like my community tab and like Twitter and all of those things. Um, I just linked to that Instagram post and just stating that my marriage is over and I'm moving. And that's it. It was like four sentences. It was a picture of Aries and I in front of my packed car. And that was it because I don't plan on talking about that part. <laughs> not right now obviously like i just can't but i just wanted to you know let people know like this is what's happening and you know i'm moving obviously i feel like it was pretty obvious from the videos and like my background's changing and i'm in different places and then my plants are gone and then you know but the thing is is like when you're going through something so huge um to actually make the announcement i don't know why i started with my eyes to actually like put it out there and especially to put it out to thousands of people and especially to put it out in the era of social media that we are now where people dissect everything that you say and critique everything that you do and judge everything you do and have an opinion on everything that you say it's just really hard to share personal things um because you're just like oh great like literally my family and i sat down and had a discussion of what are people gonna say and how to handle it like that's crazy so it's just really hard to actually like 
put it out there and then open yourself up to criticisms and critiques and opinions. When I did share the post, I just wanted to keep it short to the point, like this is what's going on, this is why I'm taking time off, that's it. I'm just gonna kind of mix those two mats together and blend on top. To me, the, the, my move is an exciting part of this. And you know, obviously I wish it wasn't happening for the reasons that it's happening, but I also want to look at it with enthusiasm and excitement, um, you know, to get to somewhere where I feel a little bit more accepted and somewhere with warmer weather. And, you know, I just have to, I choose to look at the positives um, and that this is exciting and a new adventure and, you know, all of the things. So it just, to me, was like kind of weird if I posted something that it was like, this is so <laughs> devastating and awful. But like, yay, this is fun. Like I just, it would have been like a really weird post because even when I was telling like my friends, I was like, hey, this is happening. And they're like, oh no, like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sad. I'm like, but then this is happening. And then they're like, yay, yay, yay. Like, you know, it's just like, it, it's very weird. So that's why I decided to just have one post focused on why I'm moving and why things have been changing and you know all of those things and then i'm gonna have a separate post of my move because that to me is you know an exciting moving forward type of thing so that's why i decided to not announce where i was moving right away i'm just gonna leave the eyes there for right now and move on to my face i'm gonna use the tatcha silk primer because it is the only primer i can find at the moment when i i did post right away but when i was making my trip i did document everything um, you know, I, I did pick photos and videos and I'm planning to do uh, a vlog and all of the things and I was like, oh, you know, I could still share all of this like on Instagram stories or other places like I could still share this and so people could come along. It's just not, you know, happening live right, right at that moment. And then when I fir first posted about like being in Kansas and being at Ashley's and people are like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm reading the comments and and the dms i'm getting and people are like this is gonna be so much fun to like watch your trip and i'm like i can just make this into like a whole thing um because you know <laughs> when you boil it down i to me i i do consider myself to be somewhat of an entertainer i enter hopefully entertain you with my youtube videos and what i post online hopefully i entertain you with the books that i write so i was like this could just be a fun way to like entertain people and take you on my trip with me so as of right now on monday um, I'm still posting about being in Colorado and I'm about to get to my next location, which I'll share by now, but, um, which is Utah. So, uh, I'll be sharing, um, those clips on my Instagram stories, which is March Beauty Word. Oh, duh, I should have made a highlight. I'm going to go back and make a highlight. I know I can add things later, um, but I'm going to go back and add that because yeah, it was just, you know, it was a stressful trip doing it by myself. Um, but especially doing it with Aries because there's so much to consider, so much more to consider when you're traveling with a dog. Um, just obviously like hotels that you're going to, you can't really just pop into a restaurant and eat, making sure that I'm stopping, you know, enough times to let her out and not just stopping, you know, not even just at a rest area. I was trying to find like parks and, um, like walking trails and that sort of thing. Just, you know, she has so much energy and just to be able to, to have her, you know, not be in a car for such a long time without like decent breaks. So, you know, it was stressful. I drove through a lot of snow, both in Colorado and in the mountains. Utah was a ton of snow. I remember driving 40 in an 80 and I was like, oh, so scared, so scared. Um, but you know, it was definitely a very empowering experience. Um, yeah, it was very empowering. Doing it on my own, getting through all of the little issues that were happening uh i'm going to use the fenty ease drop with a dsmd sponge i have the shade nine no i have the shade six. Oh my gosh i've been saying i have the shade nine i read it upside down i have the shade six <laughs> okay that's really embarrassing i'm pretty sure in my haul i say i got the shade nine i was reading it upside down wow wow that's freaking amazing samantha so i'm just gonna apply it like that um, I have been using a brush. I've used the this um, skin tint two or three times now. It's the only thing that I've been wearing since my haul. And I've applied it with a brush all the times, but I finally unearthed a sponge today and I want to try it just to see, 
just to get an idea of it. But I've been really, really impressed with this. I actually posted a TikTok the other day because uh, I'm, I'm not proud to admit that this happened. But I got ready and then I decided to go to a workout class. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I filmed the video and then I was like, oh, there's a class happening in 10 minutes. Like I should go to Hot Pilates. So I went to Hot Pilates. Like I literally got done filming and then ran to Hot Pilates and did it for an hour in a 90 degree room with a mask on, mind you, right? Like, but, and I got out and my complexion looked flawless, Fla like, I just didn't even understand how it happened. So, so far, and again, I, I, do, I do have oily skin. If you're new here, I do have oily skin. So I wanna make sure that I say that. But I was so impressed. The thing is, so I also use the Dior Powder No Powder. And I, I wanna try these two separately. I'm gonna use them together today for the video. But I wanna try them separately to see like, is it the Fenty? that holds on so long? Is it the Dior or is it a combo of both? Now I don't want to test him again working out because I really don't recommend working on makeup, especially while wearing a mask and just like trapping. Oh, like I can't believe I did that, but you know, it was a great test. It was a great test of these products and I was, I was real impressed. So I would definitely say that with a sponge, I can see that the coverage is lighter with a brush. I was using the BK Beauty 101 with the brush, I definitely got more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more to the lower half of my face where I struggle with hormonal acne and have like acne, you know, redness and, and scars. That's usually the case. If you want more coverage, I recommend to use a brush. If you wanna share it out a little bit, use a sponge. I just kinda wanted to give an idea because with it being a skin tint, I definitely thought it was gonna be a lighter coverage and I was like, whoa, so this is kind of what I was thinking it would be. So if I apply with a sponge, Hopefully you can see it okay. But so far, so good. I'm, I'm, I was kind of a little shook at how much I enjoyed it. And then I'm just gonna use my Pat McGrath concealer. The only concealers I can find right now are my Pat McGrath and my CoverGirl. <laughs> Two very different ends of the spectrum. So I'm just gonna use a little of L6 and then also to clean up. And then just a little more on any of these areas. The Pat McGrath is a really good concealer for spot concealing also. So I'm just gonna do a little like that. <laughs> like what I said, you know, it was empowering and I was able to work through any issues that came up. The craziest thing happened in Utah. <laughs> craziest thing happened. So I'm in Utah and I stop in a pretty small town and they had uh, a pet friendly hotel and I could have pushed on and kept going another hour and been to like the very edge of Utah but I was like you know what let's just stop I can take a shower get some food like I might as well just stop here and so find a pet friendly hotel you know it's all good get my food take a shower everything's fine go to sleep I wake up at five o'clock because I have to go to the bathroom and so get up go to the bathroom lay back down in bed and I'm laying there, you know, trying to fall asleep again. Aries is like moving around, trying to get comfortable again. And the air conditioning was on and I had, you know, a clock next to me. And all of a sudden, you know, when the power goes off and you just like, you hear that noise, but like technically I think it's like silence, but like you hear the silence and then everything shuts off. And I was like, oh no, the hotel just lost power. That's not good. It'll turn back on, you know, it's a hotel. Like obviously they have like a system in place and you know, backups and you know, all the things. So it will turn back on. So they lay there for a few more minutes and it doesn't turn back on. And I'm like, okay. So I get up and I like start to check things like, nope, none of the lights are working. Water, water wasn't, wasn't working. And I'm like, hmm, this is interesting. And I just get this horrible feeling of like, what if the, if the doors aren't locked? You know, we use like the electronic key cards to get in. Like, what if those aren't working? And, you know, obviously I have the door dead bolted. I mean, you know, when you're driving across the country as a woman by yourself, there's a lot that you think of. There's a lot of safety measures you take into place. Every single time I made a stop, I would text my mom or my sister saying exactly where I am, the state park that I was at, anything like that. 
there's just a lot that you think about traveling alone especially as a woman uh so you know my mind immediately is going to safety am i okay in my room i'm also thinking like what's going on why is the power out in a hotel and not coming back on I'm in a small town in Utah. I'm like, this just seems like the perfect situation um, for me to die. <laughs> like, I was like, this just seems like a horror novel come to life. I don't know what's going on. So I immediately, all of this is going through my head at five in the morning. I immediately just get super scared and I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta leave. So I pack up Aries and I, and mind you, mind you, when I go into a hotel, it is my overnight bag, Aries' backpack, Aries' food bowl, um, my two laptop bags, and a camera bag because I didn't want them to stay in my car and my purse, plus I have to carry Aries' leash. So I have things like all over me and I got to the point where after the first stop in Colorado, I just learned how to like crisscross everything on my body and to be able to make it all in one trip. So I'm getting everything together. I'm getting Aries on her leash. We walk outside, it is snowing like crazy. It's 5.30 in the morning now and it's pitch dark. And I'm like, interesting. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna set my under eyes with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This brush is a little extreme for that. Let me see if I find something different. I don't know what to do. <laughs> And I'm texting with my sister who's already awake, which, you know, there was a time difference. So I, I think it was 6.30 her time. Um, but I'm texting with my sister and she's like, don't leave. Like, don't leave. Like, what are you going to do? You can't drive in the dark. I'm night blind. You can't drive in the dark. You don't know where you're going. It's snowing. I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't feel safe in the hotel. Like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if my doors are locked. Like, I'm just like freaking out. And so I sit in the parking lot and I noticed then the whole town has lost power. Everything is dark. There was a Burger King next to the hotel. The lights were out. There's a gas station. The lights are out. The whole town is dark as far as I can see. So I'm sitting in my car just trying to think of what to do. Like, can I drive to another town to get another hotel to like sleep for a few more hours? I'm still so tired. And then it was about right at six o'clock all the lights came back on you know all of a sudden everything just lights up and then i see a bunch of utility trucks driving away so i was like okay so i tell my sister that and then i go back into the hotel and try my key card and it works and you know everything's turned on oh i forgot to mention that even if i wanted to stay in the room I was right across from the elevator and the elevator alarm was going off. First, I was concerned that someone was in the elevator and got stuck, um, but I couldn't hear anything. Like no one came to the elevator because I kept looking out the door trying to figure out what was going on. So I assumed no one was in there, uh, but the alarm kept going off and it was a buzzing sound and Aries was freaking out. She kept barking. She was whining. You know, she didn't know what was going on. I was feeling very anxious. She was picking up on that. There was all these noises. You know, people are walking around and I can hear people like trying to figure out what's going on too. It was just like, we couldn't have stayed there. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna use the Dior powder and uh, Real Techniques, no, a Moda brush. Moda uh, LE03. Okay, it was just, it was, it was all a disaster, but when the lights came back on, I was like, well, I'll just go see if my key card works and you know, all of the things. And my card still worked and then um, I made sure that like it actually need, like no one could come into my room and it seemed all good. So Aries and I fell back asleep for a couple more hours before we got back on the road. But that was like the biggest instance of like a WTF moment from the trip that I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, but luckily it, it worked out okay in the end. But it was just one of those things where I was like, this just seems like... Stephen King novel like ready to happen so I was a little bit I was a little bit scared but you know making it through all of that all of the stops you know just figuring out every other obstacle that came my way I was I was really proud of myself for it so you know you know I'm saying like I'm frustrated with myself because I can't figure out my lights like I will figure it out like I, I really like I, I I definitely feel especially after doing that trip and doing it alone and having you know other curveballs thrown at me like I really do feel like I can do anything so you know it truly was a very a very empowering experience and I'm glad that I did it and I'm glad that I, I made it I made it okay <laughs> 
Um, so I am just placing the Dior powder pretty much everywhere. Now, I really like this. So I got the shade 3, and I'm pretty sure I didn't read that upside down. So I got the shade 3, which I thought looked a little bit darker in the pan, but I really don't notice much on my skin. Like, I don't notice, like, it, maybe like a very slight oomph, but really like not much. I've been liking the powder. The thing that I'll say is that it feels so lightweight. Like, I feel like I could just keep adding more and more powder and like, it's just going to look good and it's not going to feel too heavy or look like I'm wearing a ton of powder. I will say it has a fragrance though and it definitely smells like perfume and it really caught me off guard. When I first opened it, I literally did that thing where I looked around and I was like, what is, did some, is, is someone here? <laughs> someone, someone walk in. Um, you know, so it kind of like freaked me out a little bit, but so far, at least the Fenty Dior combo is so good. I will come back to review everything that I purchased in my Sephora haul, so I'll give an update because I do want to try them separately to see if it's just the combo that works so well together or, you know, I'll give an update for sure. So I'm going to move on to the Patrick Ta duo, uh, and this I got in She's Sculpted. So this is the Creme Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo, which looks like so. So for the Creme Contour side, um, I just have a very nice Allie Glines bag next to me full of brushes. So we're just choosing out of what's in there. Choose your own adventure. So this one is a 106. Well, I guess I could use my sponge, couldn't I? Mm, I'm going to start with the 106 and then maybe I can blend it. That's what we're going to do. See, we're just making things work, okay? So I am just going to tap into the crumb side. I haven't used this yet. And then I'm just going to go ahead and start to place that down. I haven't used this yet because I did also buy the Kaja Sculpting Trio, which has a cream bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. Mm. It's going to it's gonna look a little crazy until we blend it out. Nobody panic. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. Am I panicking? So I have been trying that. I do have an, or should, yeah, it should be up already now. Um, and Instagram reels using that stack and I really really like it I wasn't sure how I feel about it and the cream the cream bronzer is in there and I was like I don't know like we'll see I really really like it my least favorite out of the three is actually probably the highlight because it just doesn't you know I like I like more blinding highlight but the products are really really nice so been enjoying that but definitely wanted to try these also I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. So yeah, I'm actually going with a friend today and we're gonna take some photos for the gram um, for like my announcement post. So that should be, that should be coming soon. And I thought like, I was like, oh, I should just like make it like an actual, make it an actual thing and have like some nice, nice photos. Cause I can do that now. So yeah, I'm very, very grateful. I moved somewhere where I do have friends here, YouTube friends here. So they understand when I say, Hey, you want to come with me to take, take photos of me? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, thanks. So that's nice. Okay. I'm just going to take my sponge and I'm going to start to work that in so far. So good. I think that looks really pretty. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to take the bronzer side with a BK beauty 103. And then just start to bronze up here. So yeah, so that announcement will be coming soon. And I just, you know, I hope that you guys enjoy like my little trip that I'm sharing. Um, and I will be doing a vlog. So that will be coming. And then I was even thinking about maybe doing like a monthly vlog. I don't know, might do something like that. Um, you know, if everyone likes it, you know, maybe I could do... A regular monthly vlog since I'll actually like do things and have things to like sh show you know <laughs> um like that would be exciting um or I could do it if because I mean I've done some vlogs in the past they usually don't do like the best for me probably because I'm not like the best vlogger or the best at like editing vlogs um but if like I do have a membership on YouTube and if my members at least like it I could do like my vlog for the members. I, I do have a, a membership and like a big thank you to my members for being so su like 
supportive and understanding this month. I always do a member exclusive video, um, which I am still getting up in April, so I'm very proud of myself. That's gonna go up on Thursday. Um, but then I also have the second and the third tier. I have three tiers. The second and the third do get a live chat with me every month and every other month is a book club and we do a live over Zoom. But then the months in between is just like a regular old live chat with me via Zoom. And I just could not make that work in April, which I felt terrible about, but everyone has been really understanding, but I will be back in May, especially with my launch um, with Ofer Cosmetics and then being able to go down to uh, Pompano Beach for that. And then literally, <laughs> Oh, you guys, I got back from that trip on a Wednesday. I had to pack up all of my house and all of my stuff on Thursday. And then my moving truck, my like pod came on Friday. And then I was without stuff. And then I was packing up the rest of my, of, of my, you know, items that I didn't put on the pod and packing up my makeup and finishing up work so that I could leave a week later, um, so I could get out here when my pod was here. Like, it was such a, a crazy emotional time. And it's, you know, I think it was just another reason why my Ofra collab going over so well was such a, a highlight for me because it was such a rough time for me personally that to, to have something so wonderful and beautiful happen at that time, it was just, really special so thank you again to everyone who supported that um but for this duo i think this looks really nice uh i think both the cream and the powder look really good i don't know if my lighting is gonna do it any justice but like i think that looks really good actually <laughs> um okay i'm very excited about that so next I am going to use the Bare Minerals Bronzer and we're just going to see how it goes. So this is their blush and bronzer and I got Kiss of Copper. I did my haul and I swatched it. I was like, okay, I think I can see it, but it's supposed to be like it's already a mixed blush and bronzer in one. Now obviously I do already have a bronzer on, but I'm still going to give this a try and just like see what it looks like just as a blush. I don't know. I'm very, I'm, I was very curious about these. Packaging I don't really like. I know quite a few of you commented too to say like the flimsy packaging is like not the best either, but we'll see. I'm going to use the BK Beauty 104 and we're just going to see how it goes. So, oh, oh, okay. That's, that's, that's pretty pigmented. Okay. I'm just going to Try to do a lighter amount over here and then try to blend this out here. Like, I just don't know if I would wear this as just a blush bronzer combo. I just feel like I would wear it how I am now where I already have my bronzer down and then this is more like my blush. It just has a little bit of a bronzy tone to it. I don't know, does that make sense? It's pretty, first impression. It's pretty, I just don't know if I would use it as a true bronzer. Which is just such a funny name. I'm gonna have to try it more. I'm gonna have to try it more. I'm gonna try it on its own and like skip the bronzer. I don't know. Like right now I think it looks pretty as a blush, as like a warm blush. That's how I'm feeling. I just added some uh, eyeliner to my waterline and then I'm just going to mix the two mattes again on a pencil brush, uh, Sigma E30. So I'm just going to mix those matte shades that I used and then sweep on the lower lash line. Oh my gosh, I didn't do my brows. I meant to do my brows off camera, I forgot. Whoopsies. I was also going to change my shirt. I didn't do that either. It's fine. Everything's fine. I'm just gonna do some of this lighter pink just as an inner corner. Maybe as a brow bone highlight after I actually do my brows, but I was planning to just do it, yeah. Cause it is pretty pink. So I'm just gonna do that right on the inner corner and leave the brow bone alone. Kind of like a peachy pink, that's pretty. Okay, okay. Um, let's see, well I was gonna do mascara, but I feel like I should probably just go ahead and do my brows. So let's see if I can do a cool transition to do my brows. Okay, brows are done. Managed to change out of my 
<laughs> workout top and then I did add my mascara I just used the big papa from wet and wild I've really been liking this mascara I don't know how well you'll be able to see it but I've really been enjoying it I think that it works really nice and it has not been transferring on me for my highlight I forgot to grab it okay I'm back for my highlight I'm just gonna use I might have eaten some chips along the way I'm going to use the highlight that is in my Life's a Draft palette with Ofra. So this is in Dream Chaser. So many of you have been loving the highlight. I'm going to use BK Beauty 108. So many of you have been loving it and asking for it as a single. And I've seen Ofra say a couple times on social media like, let us know if you want this as a single. So I, re I told them that I would want that to happen. So, but you know, a lot of times when it comes to stuff like this, it's really what you guys want and what you're requesting and what you're saying is so keep letting them know if you do want this as a single that that's what you'd want to see because i'm really hoping that we can make that happen because i think that would be so freaking awesome um to have this be its very own little highlight oh my gosh okay i love it i love it i mean obviously i love it but like I love it so much. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna do a little bit on the nose. And the palette is back in stock on the Ofra website. Um, I don't think it is as the time of filming. It's not back in stock yet at Ulta Beauty. Um, but the PR the PR box has sold out. I think that we can bring back the PR box. Um, I'm hoping so anyways. I know so many of you loved the stickers. I love the stickers too. Um, especially the sticker of Aries, obviously, who is already like a celebrity where we live, okay? I can't go anywhere with her. People always are, like literally, people keep coming up to me. I was in Petco the other day and a guy came up and literally loved on Aries for like five minutes. I was like, she is the star. I know that. I know that. In her daycare, they fell in love with her immediately and she loves it so much. The first day, you know, she was like, oh, I'm not really sure what's going on. The second day she was like, bye, I don't even care about you, bye, I'm going now. <laughs> I was like, okay, bye, see you later. So cute, so cute. All right, I also forgot my lip products. <sighs> One day I'm gonna have my life together. I don't know when that's gonna, it might, it might be a while. Okay, so first I just went ahead and lined my lips with Whirl from MAC and then I'm just going to come in with the Rare Beauty Glossy Balm and this is in Nearly Neutral. I really like this lip product so I'm just going to add this on top. All right and that is the final look for today's what ended up being a chatty get ready with me. I told myself that I wasn't going to chat about anything. I was just going to straight try the new makeup and then I ended up telling the story about Utah. So there, there we go. There we go, that happened. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and just, I don't know, had fun like catching up for a bit. But for the products that I tried, uh, for the Rare Beauty palette, I like it. I mean, I don't think I did anything like super groundbreaking with my look, but I also, you know, I don't usually do anything super groundbreaking, but I feel like everything worked out really well. So I'll be excited to do some more looks. I do like all of the shades in here. Um, so I'm excited to try them out, but I thought they blended well, worked well for me. For the complexion products, I've been really impressed with this Fenty and Dior duo. Like I said, I want to see which one is like, if there's like a true star between these two or if it really is just the combo. But so far, these have been going so well on me. And the Fenty is in shade six, not nine, six. I really, really like the Patrick Ta duo. <laughs> like I really like it a lot. So I'm very excited about that because I liked the blush duo that I got and she's so LA but I don't feel like I I know that I don't love it with such a deep passion like so many other people do and you know sometimes it just kind of sits there but this like I can actually see myself reaching into this a lot I also just love bronzer a lot so that might have something to do with it the bare minerals bronzer you know kind of I'm not sure yet kind of on the fence about this one I want to use it as its intended purpose for sure to see how I like it I think it is a pretty blush color though but I don't know we'll see how I end up liking this one I'll have to try it a few more times uh, to really get an idea but also that Kaja stack was really good you can check out my Instagram reels uh, for a demo with that but I've really been enjoying that so that is it for today's get ready with me trying out the new makeup that I picked up from the Sephora sale thank you so much for hanging out with me for a while hope this video was okay. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.